Take 73. Les and Phil chat about Phil. Chat about um, the, the book. Yes. I'd, I'd, really, I'd really like to know. That, so obviously there's lots of serious computer science in this. There's yeah, lots yeah, of yeah. serious pedagogy. Yeah, that's brilliant. Um, and it's, it's uh, really well worth the money, obviously. It's, it's almost no money at all. It is. Um, I mean, I'm surprised away for Amazon bother um, with the, the small amount of money that they can make on this because it's really good value. But you've, you've got 27 um, modules of work. Yeah. They all come from, they come from like four years of experience yeah. of trying yeah, to yeah. teach computing. Yeah, yeah. Trying. What yeah. is your um, top ten. what is what what are your top moments from teaching these twenty seven things? What what things have stood out to you? What you know, sort of from from the uh, your pupils' reactions and the responses yeah, that you yeah, had. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. No, no, no. So okay, doing the clock module and having worked through about um, two hours, a couple of sessions with the children, and I was off to another meeting. Yeah the school yeah. and I followed these two lads out of school because I was you know off to run something else and um, I actually over there was one of the pupils he turned to the pupil next to him and he said oh I don't believe we actually programmed a clock today and he yeah. was just so made up you know it's just a lovely moment um, and I've had so many of those and I've also had so many times when the children have come back I mean I remember at um, Calmore Junior School coming back and um, uh, I came back after Easter after we'd done a little bit on the, yeah. um, on the music um, uh, music machine. Yeah. Okay. And four children came on. Oh, Mr. Bag, Mr. Bag, we've downloaded Scratch and we've made our own version of the music machine at home. And I was like, oh, it's brilliant. You know, four children. Yeah. You know, fantastic. And then another child came up to me and I was like, okay, so that's five. After the sixth child had come up to me, I thought, well, okay, then, you know, I'm just going to ask the class. So I said, well, you know, who, who here, and I hadn't even shown them where Scratch was, or I had mentioned that it was free, but that was about it. And um, out of a class of about 24 children, 18 pupils had gone home and chosen to download this and had gone and made their own versions of the music machine. Now, that yeah. is like, I mean, I've done, uh, you know, short of making it a, a homework and something yeah. they had to do, yeah. getting that sort of buy-in, it's yeah, just amazing, like really, you know. Um, so, so it's been things like that, and and seeing a child get stuck um, and, and and trying to debug something and work their way through, and then and 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 those sort of aspects have been. And then when that penny drops, when they make that right connection, when they're thinking about it. Um, and then the sort of endorphin release, which you could almost yeah. see happening in a yeah. child, you know, when they when they got it, ah, oh, I've got it this way. Um, and then so many children seeing them become resilient learners. Yeah. I was doing some, I'm doing some work around the quiz module, and I had to, I had to sort of teach um, two thirds of the class elsewhere, and, yeah. and a third of the class had already done some of it. So I gave them some really good extensions, a lot of extensions which are in the book now, and. Um, I, I checked back on them regularly every five minutes, you know, I just went back in and, um, you know, checked. And I, I sort of expected them to go off task after about ten minutes, if I'm honest. Yeah. I mean, ten minutes is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, actually, the first child didn't go off task until 35 minutes later. Really? And none of them had actually solved anything. Yeah. But they had been meaningfully working through strategies, they yeah. were part solved, they'd thought about part of it. And, and that for me was just like, it was just fantastic. Yeah. I just thought, wow, how resilient has the computing science made them, you know, that they are willing to, and yes, even when they did go off to, off to I remember the 35 minute mark, that was only just a few hints, yeah. and they were back on task again. And that loads of them solved two or three of the problems by yeah. the end of the sort so of So you've had work. some really good experience with, uh, with, uh, with the kids, you know, with these modules. Mm. Um, how about, one of the things that's really surprised me and impressed me mm. is that the, the way that the, the computing teachers, mm. you know, are, are kind of act as a community and, you know, you have the yeah, tweet ups yeah, and people yeah, are all learning yeah, from each yeah, other yeah, and yeah. proving their practice, fantastic. So as you've gone into schools and as you've worked with other people and, you know, um, at, at different levels, what's the, 
what kind of reactions or experiences have you had with teachers that, that stand yeah, out? Yeah, yeah. It's been really lovely going and challenging teachers about being resilient themselves and not being helpless. Mm -hmm. um, and then seeing them grasp that actually if they're helpless in front of their children, you know, the children will model that as yeah. well. And then taking, one of the things I found with the program is you really got to start everybody back to the start. You know, you don't want to jump in at a much, much yeah. higher level. And so it's been really nice seeing teachers' fear evaporate as they go and do yeah. some of the simpler programming modules. They actually, oh, I can go and have a go at this. Yeah. And so then have they go you and have had those experiences, and then, and then you can take them on a little bit further, and that's been lovely. So have you had um, teachers contributing and, you know, offering yeah. ideas? Oh, oh and, yes, yeah, yeah. And what's been know. really nice is very much, um, although most of the modules, oh, some of the modules were your ideas, to be honest with you, coin sorter and, and a few others but most of the modules have come from things that I've done or things that I've thought through but I've then published a, a sort of version on the on, on your the website. website yeah and then that's where all this started yeah, out because yeah. all, all the stuff in here is f available for free on the web anyway isn't it well it is and it isn't because um, the earlier versions are this yeah. this the why I've written the book is, is definitely a better version of everything yeah you know and I don't say that just to make people buy it I really don't mind if they carry on using the stuff on the so, but actually I have moved it on yeah. and in fact even the stuff on the website often there's three or four versions yeah, yeah, but yeah. I've had teachers tweet me and say oh we did this and oh I came up with this idea you know and it's been really nice to sort of and there's one or two people mentioned in here because they've, they've added yeah, extra things yeah. to the planning and actually some of the children too I probably should have actually recognised where the children have changed things and added yeah. those in um, you know um, which, is, which is nice because you you are. It is a collaborative. Yeah. Well, absolutely. You know, we all build it, it to our feels, own. It feels like. I mean, sort of from. So from my experience with, with with Cass and watching mm -hmm. the teaching community, it kind of really feels like everybody is moving on, and there's a lot of support. And yeah. uh, so this is kind of just one of the next things that's that's yeah. coming out. That and I look. I uh, as a as a computing lecturer, you know, in in, in universities, I really look forward to mm. what is going to happen you know right at key stage two yeah, and through yeah. key stage three and into four because that's really going to make my job really interesting yeah in, yeah. in a couple of years <laughs> time when when people start coming up to university yeah no no it's definitely and I, I have to say i have thoroughly enjoyed writing this you know i really enjoyed yes i've gone occasions we've had issues with publishing all this but I really 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 enjoy yeah. the sort of process yeah. of taking it on and improving my thinking and yeah. improving the children's and um, well it, it's been it's been hard work hasn't it and, and but there's been a lot of discussion about you know yeah. what where do all these computing concepts come from how yeah. do we teach them at university and how what 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 can you do yeah. to expose yeah. them and make yeah. them meaningful yeah. well, you it, know, sort of, almost some of the great I remember meeting yourself and some of the other and computing professors here yeah. and actually somebody coming up to me and saying oh I really liked the way you introduced variables and I never thought of doing it yeah. like that and that was one of your professors coming yeah. up and I was yeah. thinking so one of the things that's been lovely with working with you guys at Southampton is it has been a dialogue yeah. you know um, and it's not been it's very much been uh, you helping me to break this into smaller manageable chunks but also recognizing where our skills as teachers yeah, are different absolutely. from lecturing. You know, yeah. it's, it's been a really, it's been a good collaboration actually, yeah. and I think this book very much has come out of that collaboration. Really. Yeah. So thank you. It's really appreciated. <laughs> hey, we're going to carry on and collaborate with more to the second edition. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely, and the third. <laughs> Thanks, Liz.